Pete Dawkins served 24 years in the U.S. Army, commanding a rifle company, and then serving as senior advisor to the Vietnamese 1st Airborne Battalion. Later, he served three tours at the Pentagon. In the final decade of his military career, Dawkins had a series of commands in Korea, Fort Ord, and as Brigade Commander, 3rd Infantry Brigade of the 101st Airborne Division, and Division Chief of Staff. He was awarded the Distinguished Service Medal, the Legion of Merit with Oak Leaf Cluster, two Bronze Stars for Valor, and three Vietnamese Gallantry Crosses. As a young Brigadier General, he concluded his military career as Head of Planning and Strategy for the Army. After four years with the Wall Street firm of Lehman Brothers, in 1989 he joined the consulting firm of Bain and Company. In 1991, he became chairman and CEO of Primerica Financial Services Incorporated, and then held several senior positions at Citigroup. Today, he is vice chairman of the Citigroup Private Bank. I grew up in a blue-collar town just outside Detroit. My grandparents had a farm from a very early age. I spent my summers with my grandmother. It was a small three-room house, tar paper roofed, had no running water, uh, had no electricity, and there was a two-hole privy out back. I was able to drive a tractor when I was 12, and I had my own pickle patch. I had a horse named Nellie, and I planted and cultivated and harvested five acres of pickles, which I sold to the local cannery. I got very sick, and they couldn't find out what the problem was they discovered that I had had polio. I was quite fortunate. I wasn't crippled, but it did leave me with a pretty severe scoliosis of the spine. There was a doctor who had come up with what at that time was a pretty radical treatment that you could grow the spine straight by doing very uh, aggressive physiotherapy. We undertook that that therapy, which was actually able to, to straighten out my spine where it wasn't a, a disability. My mother had this passionate commitment to education. There was a, a private school. They couldn't afford to send me there, so she went and personally petitioned for them to give me a scholarship. They decided it was simpler to let me in than to put up with this woman who kept being there every day, camped out in their office. One thing that Pete's mother said to me was that if you have a child who has a passion for something, fan that flame because that may be what takes them to their passion on their life and their life's work. I was able to get into West Point. Then immediately after graduating, I went to Oxford. I spent 24 years in the military um, and retired early as a as a young Brigadier General. I was an investment banker for a number of years. I ran a strategy consulting firm. I have been in insurance and uh, now in the world of private banking. To me, the American dream is very simple. It means that you want to create for your children a life that's better than yours, whatever that might have been. You want to leave the place better than it was when you came in.